Hey guys, this is Salamander Anagram with MachineSkills.com and today I'm going to do a tutorial on using a standalone version of Reactor to control instruments inside Machine. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have a bunch of Machine and Reactor videos up and more coming every week. So the purpose of this tutorial is to overcome a shortcoming in Reactor that I was talking about a little bit last week in my tutorial where you can't route MIDI data from a Reactor instance inside Machine to another channel or another instrument inside Machine. So today I'm going to achieve that using a standalone version of Reactor and we'll route our MIDI from Reactor into Machine. Alright, so the first thing I want to note is that in order to use this method you have to have your ASIO drivers turned off. Um, I generally have mine turned off anyways for recording these videos. I, I can't use them but I've just turned off the ASIO audio drivers because if you have Reactor and Machine both in standalone mode trying to be in ASIO mode, um, they're both going to try to grab exclusive control of your sound card at once and one of them will end up not functioning properly. And the other thing to note is that uh, even though I've got Reactor open right now, I guess it's not creating a virtual MIDI port for me to route data to and from other programs, so we're going to have to do that on our own. And I'll also just note that I have the ASIO drivers turned off in Reactor. All right. So to create a virtual MIDI port, I'm going to use this program here called Loop MIDI, and I will provide a link to download this in the video description. So this is a great simple little program and to add a new virtual MIDI port we can simply type in a name in the little box in the right hand corner here and click the plus button. Um, it's really that simple and this new virtual MIDI port will now show up in our audio MIDI settings in Reactor and Machine. So if we go to those see that we've got the inputs turned on automatically which we want to have off in the reactor settings and we want to have the output turned on so this virtual MIDI port reactor is going to be the MIDI data coming from reactor and in machine uh, I think it'll be set up properly automatically but let's just check uh, go to the MIDI channel yep so it's got it on on the inputs and it's got it off in the outputs, so that's exactly the way we want it. Alright, so I'm going to load a sound for Reactor to trigger. And then we'll hop into Reactor and load up an ensemble to send some MIDI data to Machine. And I'm going to use um, my own ensemble Automata as an example. Uh, you could use pretty much anything you want here. Uh, you could use a arpeggiator and grab MIDI data from an incoming keyboard or something and send that off to machine or whatever you wanted to do. Alright, so we can set our machine instrument to receive this sound by pressing on our modulation options here and choosing the input option go over to the MIDI tab and select Reactor from the drop-down menu. And this will work alright, but you'll notice when we trigger Machine to start playing, nothing happens. And that's because we need to use the Reactor Transport. So while we can send data from Reactor to Machine now, it still is not working so great because we have to trigger Reactor's MIDI clock separately from 
machines and this is just going to cause a whole host of problems with trying to synchronize and get everything lined up. So we're going to use Loop MIDI to create another virtual MIDI channel. And I'll name this one Transport. And we're going to use it to send MIDI clock data from machine to reactor. And that way when we press play on the machine clock, the reactor clock will trigger as well. And this should set up automatically in Reactor. In Machine, we'll need to do some changes to make it send instead of receive to that channel. Yep, so it's receiving, which will turn off. It's not sending, which we... Oh, it is sending. Okay. All right. All right, so now the last thing we need to change is that by default, machine will not send transport or MIDI clock data. So what we need to do is choose the send MIDI clock option from the file menu. And when you do, you'll note that the uh, reactor MIDI clock will jump to match the machine MIDI clock going to 120 BPM, where previously it was 90. And when we press play on machine, you can hear that we are getting MIDI data back from Reactor. All right, and again, you can use any Reactor Ensemble that's meant to send MIDI data in place of Automata for this project. Just wanted to show how we can get that data into instruments in machine. Hope you guys like this tutorial. If you do, please check out our website at machineskills.com. We also have a bunch of reactor tutorials available at reactortutorials.com. And if you guys have any suggestions, questions, or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. All right, have a good week.